Here's an example of doing a Bode plot by hand. The transfer function is s plus 1 over s plus 10. The first step is to find the DC gain of the system. Set s is equal to 0. And we have 1 tenth. We now need that in terms of db 20 log of 1 tenth is equal to minus 20. So first, plot the DC gain. I need some scale on here. Next, put in the poles. We have a pole at 10. The pole at 10 has a straight response until we reach the breakpoint 10, and then it goes down at minus 20 dB per decade. A decade is 10 times the frequency. There's 10, and 20 dB is right here. So then it has a slope like this, and it just continues on out. Next, we're going to put in the zero. The zero is at 1. It has a break at 1, and then plus 20 dB per decade. So it will do that. Now we add all three components together. Again, because this is a log scale, multiplying the components together is the same as adding them in log space. And we add the red line to the blue line to the purple line. And the way I do this is I look for places where there's a change in the lines, and I'm going to mark those. And now I'm going to add minus 20 and 0 and 0. That's right there. Come to here. Minus 20, 0, 0 is right here. Come to this spot. See, I have minus 20 and 0 and plus 20. Minus 20 plus 20 gives me 0. Let's come out here a little bit further. The final green point, I have minus 20 for the blue, another minus 20 for the red, that's minus 40. And if we follow the purple line up, we'd find it's at plus 40, so minus 20 minus 20 and plus 40 gives us 0. And we add these points together. So the green line is the gain curve. Next I need to do the phase curve. The phase curve I'm going to first plot the pole. I'm going to do that again in blue. The pole is at minus 10. At minus 10 it's a phase of minus 45 degrees and a total phase shift of 90 degrees over two decades. So the phase curve for the pole looks something like that. Now I need to do the phase curve for the zero. The zero has a total phase shift of 90 degrees over two decades. It's centered at the zero location, which is one. So the curve looks something like this. And now I need to add those together. And again, I'm just going to start picking some points, marking them in green. These are arbitrary points I'm picking. So zero and zero gives me zero. Here I have zero, so the curve's going to go up to here. At this point I go up to the purple and down from the blue, so it's a little bit less. It looks like it's about like that. Let's see, here I go up the purple, down the blue. The blue's just a little bit less. And by the time I get way out here, this is at minus 90, this is at plus 90, and I'm back to zero. So the curve does something like that. And that gives me the gain curve and the phase curve. Here's another example. 4 over the quantity s plus 2, s plus 10. So I have two poles. Two poles tell me there's going to be a total of minus 40 dB per decade slope at the end. I need to get the DC gain of the system first. I set as equal to 0. And the DC gain, I get 4 over 20. Take the log, multiply by 20. It gives me minus 14 dB. So my steps first are to put in the DC gain, minus 14 dB. Let's see, that's 20. Minus 14 is somewhere right here. Next, I do the pole at 2. It has a break at 2 and then minus 20 dB per decade. Here's a rule of thumb that I use. When you're doing log scale, if you're doing these by hand, halfway is 3. Halfway again is 6 because it's a log scale. So halfway right here is 0.3, and halfway again is 0.6, just to get your bearings on the log scale. So doing this pole, we have a break at 2. 2 is about here, and it goes down 20 dB per decade. There's one decade, and 20 dB takes me to here. And then another decade, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be out here. So the line is going to go like this. Now the pole at 10. The pole at 10 has a break here, and it goes down 20 dB per decade. And now I need to add them together. Again, I'm going to use the same technique I did before. I'm going to look for points where they intersect or there's some change. We start over here. We're at minus 14 and 0, and it stays the same all the way to get to this point. From here to actually this point right here, you can see there's 
this is straight. The purple one is straight. The dark purple one goes down at 20 dB per decade. So starting right here, if we started adding minus 14 and the purple one, but eventually it parallels and ends up something like this. And now we are going to add in this slope, the line with that slope, the line with that slope, and the minus 14 dB. Again, if you want to, you could just pick a point and go that distance plus that distance plus that distance. Or you might, you should be able to see also that 20 dB per decade and 20 dB per decade gives me 40 dB per decade. And so the curve looks like that. Next, let's do the phase curve. The phase curve, we have a pole at 2. The pole at 2 has a total slope of minus 45 stretched over 2 decade. So this phase curve will do something like that. Total phase of 90 degrees with 45 at the pole location. And then for 10, total phase of 45 at the break point and go 1 decade on each side. The curve will do something like this. And then you add those together. So I'm going to go way out here to get a spot to start. This is minus 90 and minus 90. That's going to give me minus 180. Over here, I've got 0 and 0. That's going to give me a 0. Uh, let's try one in the middle. So I've got that distance and that distance. So it's that one plus about that. So there's three points, and I'm just going to freehand it in. So the phase curve looks something like that. Here's the last example. So I have a system that has a zero at minus three and then complex poles. And the complex poles here have a natural frequency of four. You can see that square root of 16 is four and a damping ratio of 0.5. So the first step as before is to calculate the DC gain. We take the limit as S is equal to zero. That gives us three over 16 and calculate the corresponding DB. That's minus 14. There's the DC gain. Next, I'm going to put in the zero at three. So I'm going to make a quick estimate here on the log scale so I can get my bearings. The zero at three is flat until we get to the cutoff, which is at three, and then it's 20 dB per decade. There's 20 dB per decade, so the slope looks something like this. Next, I need to put in the pole, and there's a set of complex poles. A cutoff at four, and the slope will be minus 40 dB per decade. I'm going to sketch that here. This line is 40 dB per decade, and eventually the Bode plot for the complex poles will end up on that line. System as a damping ratio of 0.5, and if we go back and look at my cheat sheet, you can see what happens to the damping ratio of 0.5. looks like this, and now back and sketch it in. So the system is flat, damping ratio of 0.5. The next step is to add together the three curves to get the final body plot for the gain. And the final curve looks something like this. Next, I need to do the phase curve. So first, I'll put in a phase for a zero at three. The zero at three is 45 degrees of phase centered about three, the break point, and then a total of 90 over a two decade span. And the curve looks something like that. The complex poles are centered about omega n which is five is total phase of 180 degrees. So 90 at the center. And then the shape is depends on the damping ratio. So damping ratio of 0.5, we can go back and look at our cheat sheet, looks something like that. If the damping ratio is smaller then the curve becomes steeper. Now I just need to add these two together. Free and it in and the curve looks something like that. I suggest you go back and verify these problems in MATLAB just to make sure you can see what the Bode plot looks like. And you should also make sure you can do these by hand.